Hello, my name is Vivian with VP3 Arenda, and I'm going to share two messages tonight from the Shine book, message or Pleiadian message to awaken your true purpose and power, and it's channeled by El Elizabeth Smith. Messages number 19 and 20 were titled, or not titled, but both about time, so I decided to go ahead and put them both in one video. The nature of time. Let us explain the nature of time. Time is a measurement, but it is just that. It is a dimension like the more physical length, breadth, and height, but it is still only a measurement of the core, which is the truth. What is far more important is timing, when another cycle of oneness is completed. You may have noticed that some people hold on to their emotions like grief and hatred for a long time. That is because they are not ready to let go as long as those emotions serve a purpose for them. It does not matter how many weeks or months pass or how many full moons go, come and go. If only it were as easy as that. Many psychologists and therapists will go out of business. The measurement of your truth is about timing, about when you are ready to let go of your emotions. You will know that the timing is right because you will be ready to experience gratitude and forgiveness. So stop asking, when will it happen? But rather ask, when will I be ready to accept? And don't expect an answer. May your blessings multiply. I really felt the part that says... You will know that the timing is right because you will be ready to experience gratitude and forgiveness because in my experience you know, on November 30th, 2018, last year, I was in the emergency room with my father-in-law for six hours and I had some uh, emotional stuff going on with a few different family members at that time and I was just super emotional. I was crying nonstop. I could not stop myself. I could not control myself. And as soon as I did kind of get control of myself, I see there was a, a whole bunch of families came into the ER waiting room and they, there was a big wreck, uh, with teenagers and, um, there I go with my arms, but hopefully I'm not going to start saying, but all the time now, <laughs> These parents were super upset. You know, they had just got the calls that these wrecks, their teenage, their kids, children hadn't even gotten to the hospital yet. So the fear, I mean, I being the empathy I am, I picked up on all of that. So it was just, again, cry. I just, it was literally, I could not stop crying. And um, throughout that weekend, I just had a slur of synchronicities. And I just knew God was trying to talk to me and get hold of me and change something in me. And I, it was during those, that weekend that I just accepted anybody and everybody in my life. I accepted me for every single flaw that I had ever, every mistake, everything that I had hated myself for, everything that I knew other people hated me for, or had anger feelings or whatever, think people that I had hurt or, you know, just whatever. And I was able to release that. And it was just such a liberating feeling. And I just hope that everybody does that. That's why I just feel so led to do what I'm doing with these videos and the Pleiadian thing just kind of came up as well. But <clears throat> there is a way to get past those emotions. I mean, I'm still working on my emotions. I have things that pop up here now, but I definitely control it better. Um, I don't, I try not to involve everybody else into my chaos because that's what I always did before I tried to reach out and I needed somebody to help me to fix it to tell me I was right to tell me it's okay or you know to be supportive or just whatever and I'm just glad that I finally grew up and realized that I can own my own shit and it doesn't matter if other people own their stuff or not I don't have to accept theirs and I don't have to let their stuff affect my emotions or my day and if they want to hold grudges against me or if they don't want to like me for other reasons, for whatever reasons that they have, then that's their problem. You know, I'm going to love myself and embrace myself. And that's what I love that about, you know, your forgiveness. You'll have forgiveness and gratitude because you're going to thank those people. Maybe not thank them to their face, but in your heart, you're going to be grateful for that experience because you know at that moment it was worth everything. Even whatever it was, however bad or hard it is to let go of grief or anger, or hatred, whatever. In that moment that you let go, it is just, you just know it's worth it. And you that's why you're, so, you're thankful and you can forgive in that moment. Another thing that um, just kind of sunk with me was that the people won't let go of their emotions as long as it serves a purpose for them. You know, there's ever, just like everything you hear, there's two sides of every story. And now that I 
really know that there's actually different frequencies that people are on. So if you're not on that frequency frequency as that same person or as that person, then you are not going to understand them. They could sit there and spell it out in black and white on a piece of paper, but if you are not vibrating at the same level as them, you will not understand them. And that's why there's so much miscommunications, I think, going on is because there's so many different levels that people are at and everybody wants to judge everybody. So instead of, you know, stepping back and realizing, hey, they just think a little bit different, their opinions are different, and all of that, everybody wants to judge. So anyways, there's my add-on. <laughs> Message 20, time is an illusion. We need to correct a misconception. Time does not stand still, ever. Time also does not move, and it especially does not fly. Time is an illusion, a very strong one, that people have bought into to the extent that it causes much stress. Everything you do seems to be time-bound. Even, even a meditation is timed. There will come a time when such an artificial limitation will fall away. For now, it is necessary for people to experience the destructive element of time because it helps to condense conflict and enhances the process of becoming whole. Use your time, but do not become a slave of it. You do not want to be the slave of an illusion. Do not focus on how much you can achieve within a given time. Rather, focus on savoring the moment, even if you are in a stressful moment, because that will help you appreciate a stressless moment. As we have taught you, balance is everything. Have you noticed how you can have a good or bad time? On that level, you recognize time as a label rather than a dimension. Timing is fluid and far more meaningful than time. Love and blessings to you. Thanks for tuning in for messages 19 and 20. I hope that you all have a good Sunday night and a great week coming up tomorrow. Talk to you later. Good night.